Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this beer review. Time to take that old trip, guys. We're heading towards the United States for this one. We are returning back to a Great Divide Brewing Company. Taking a look at this fella, it's their Chocolate Oak Aged Yeti Imperial Stout. Clocking in at 9.5% in a 355 mil can. And there's the Yeti walking around there. On the Denver, Colorado, these guys. And there you go. 355 mil, 9.5%. And there you go. This is their chocolate oak aged Yeti version of their Yeti series of Imperial Stouts. Now, let's get it open while I yak a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit more about this beer or about uh, my last... Review, actually. Well, let, let's go. There we go. Okay, so I reviewed the uh, maple pecan version of this beer a few weeks back. I was really looking forward to that review, to be honest. But I was so disappointed at that beer. I mean, maple pecan, guys. That's That sounded absolutely gorgeous. But it was such a really, really mess of a beer. Just, I just got a, you know, a little bit of dark roasted malt and a faint sweet hint. And that was basically it. So, but, you know, I'm always ready to give a brewery a second chance, of course. And I mean, I have reviewed some good beers from these guys before. So, picked this one up. Thought I would give it a go. Right. Three fingers worth of uh, head, brown colored, small bubbles on top. There you go. Certainly looks jet black in the glass. Looking fine, guys. That looks like a nice presentation then. Good deal of carbonation on it. Onto the nose then. So you got some dark roasted malts. You got a little bit of woody tannins going on in the, on the nose there. Maybe a faint hint of chocolate, but it's ever so faint. Okay, so with that said, we will just have to dive in and see what we get, right? Cheers. It's quite spicy. Quite spicy beer. Spicy stout. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of woody, woody tannins going on here. It's spicy. A little bit of a bitter aftertaste. Uh, let's go again. It's very peppery, spicy peppery. A lot of spicy peppery vibes about it. Bitter aftertaste, dry. A lot of tannins going on. Don't really get much of the chocolate, to be fair. Uh, let's let, let's pour out the, the rest of the beer while we yak a little bit here. So there we go. So, is this uh, as a terrible beer as the... Uh, here we go. As the uh, uh, maple pecan was, no. This is in its own right a little bit of a better beer, to be honest. But still, it lacks uh, the chocolate part here. Uh, it's got a lot of spicy, peppery, oak dry vibes about it. Dark roasted malts. Uh, but I mean, you know, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. It's got a really nice presentation on it. Final sip. Yeah. Don't really get the chocolate parts, unfortunately. 
So in that respect, I'm, I'm still a little bit disappointed, but not as disappointed as I was regarding the uh, maple pecan version. Uh, Yeti, chocolate oak Yeti Imperial Stout from the Great Divide Brewing Company out of Denver, Colorado. It's an okay beer, but it's certainly... I mean, it's not what I would have expected anyways. But I mean, I don't know what's happened to this company. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, for me, but this was a little bit better. Uh, 3.25 out of 5. Thanks for watching.